Space Funeral is an independently created role-playing video game and art game by Irish developer The Catamites. The short game was created using RPG Maker 2003, and centers around a boy named Philip, who leaves home to save his world from a mysterious corruption. Space Funeral is notable for its parodies of the horror and RPG game genres, its crude art style, and frequent use of blood in dialogue, graphics, and thematics. Topic. Gameplay Players control Philip and during sections following the game's first major area, Leg Horse as he departs from his home in Scum Village sick, to search for the City of Forms, a city described as the origin of everything within the game's world. Throughout the game, players repeatedly encounter twisted, and often bloody creatures which take the place of NPCs in the game's world. The game plays like a typical 2D turn-based RPG, although a mystery function that can only be used once per battle has effects unique to each enemy variety the function is utilized on. This ability closely resembles praying in Earthbound but with a far greater and more prevalent narrative focus. Certain enemies have absurd weaknesses, such as silent films making some of them sentimental. The game also has quirky status effects, such as buff and sad, along with more typical ones, such as poisoned. Topic. Plot Space Funeral begins with Philip, a perpetually crying pajama-clad purple boy, seeing a wizard in Scum Village sick, who tells him that his world has been corrupted, and it does not have long left. The wizard states that the only hope for survival is to find the City of Forms, a perfect city from which all things in the game's world originates. Philip departs the village, and soon meets up with Leg Horse, a horse made of severed legs who is later revealed to have formerly been Prince Horus, the Prince of Space Funeral's world. The player eventually passes through the Blood Cavern, a cave housing the game's first boss, the Blood Ghoul, and arrives in the City of Thieves. Philip notices that certain objects appear as graphical glitches, which the denizens of the world are cognizant of and call, errors but do not remember what they once were before the great change. Once players defeat the King of Crime, they make their way to the City of Forms, which is intensely glitched, and resembles a video game debug room, with the forms referring to the game's sprites. There, they discover Moon, a former artist who sought out the city first in order to be inspired, but realized that it was so perfect that she no longer had any more purpose as an artist, so she decided to corrupt the world to allow her to create again. Upon defeating Moon, the game is restored to the default appearance of an RPG Maker game, and the characters return to their normal selves, implying that its former appearance was the result of the corruption inflicted upon it by Moon. However, a corrupted house from the original world still remains there, implying that it is not completely gone. Topic. Development During an interview with Tumblr blog FuckYaSpaceFuneral, yeah developer The Catamites stated that the game's art style was based on the weird chunky pixel gore from Monster Party especially the way it could be hard to figure out what a wall of tiled bloody heads was meant to represent in game space." The music selection of Space Funeral was stated to have been selected by "...pulling together things based on kind of superficially similar tendencies and almost creating a fake tradition in that way which could change how you progress from there." Space Funeral was stated in the same interview to have been largely inspired by the video games Bad Castle and Monster Party. In a different interview, Murphy claimed to have played Earthbound in his teens but added it was kinda too late for it to have an impact at the time of development. Despite this claim, several websites have listed Space Funeral among games very reminiscent of Earthbound, including that interviewer's own site, pastemagazine.com. The game's focus on corruption versus the perfect 
Graphics of the default RPG Maker was used by the developer to decry what he believed was a modern form of classicism for the RPGs of the 1990s, where people believed they were the peak of video games and wanted to copy them as much as possible, instead of experimenting and trying new things. He believed that when RPG Maker games break from tradition, they are more interesting. Topic. Reception Space Funeral received positive critical reviews, citing the game's unusual art style, music, and setting. Felipe Salgado of Kill Screen rated the game 75 one hundredths, saying that its messiness went in contrast to the tendency of most games to tie up loose ends, despite the fact that its underlying systems are the same as any JRPG. Quinton Smith of Rock, Paper, Shotgun described the game as Final Fantasy directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky, calling the art disturbed and the music awesome. Shea Close of Snacked Up compared the game to the works of David Lynch in its surreality and willingness to combine multiple genres. Following the release of Space Funeral, several fan games were released to the public, two of which, Space Funeral Earth Birth and Space Funeral 2, impressed developer The Catamites so much he claimed them to be canonical. Although there have been a few more notable fanmade additions to the series, The Catamites has stated they are non canonical to the series. Space Funeral quickly became one of developer The Catamites' most recognizable games, alongside Magic Wand, and Goblet Grotto, 